Welcome, my dear friends. Are you excited? And you have an experiment to do? Oh, yes. Today, I am so excited because I do have an experiment to do today. Just like in the lab. And for those of you that want to be a scientist, this is just perfect for you. Have fun with me. We'll start off with a clean jar and I'm gonna get some cabbage. Yes, it is purple. We do have the white cabbage and the purple cabbage. So this is the purple cabbage. And I'll put three tablespoons of my sliced purple cabbage. And I'll make sure it all fits in. Excellent. Great. And I do have a measuring cup, as you can see, it has different numbers on it. And I have a bottle of water. Yes. So I am then going to fill up my measuring cup up to 50 centimeters, according to the line on my measuring cup and I'll go ahead and pour that into my jar into my jar of red cabbage and we're going to let it soak for 30 minutes after 30 minutes we'll go ahead now with a measuring cup and like I'm showing you right now, the measuring cup has some numbers on it. And these numbers does tell you how much quantity you have in that cup. We'll go ahead right now and pour out my cabbage water into my measuring cup. Wow, it turned purple. We do have some spills. We'll go ahead and clean up these spills. Our workstation has to be neat and tidy always, so we can be safe every single time. I already measured some 50 centimeters of water in my test tube and these I'm gonna pour over the other 50 centimeters I, me I already measured of my cabbage water to make up 100 centimeters or what others would call 100 ml. Perfect. I do have a small test tube, like you can see, it has some numbers on it. And what this means is that with the help of these numbers, we can measure the quantity we want to use. I am now going to pour out my liquid into my small test tube and I'll measure it up to two centimeters because we only need a little bit. And here we are, two centimeters. Yes, that's gonna be our first one. And straight on to our second one. The same two centimeters of my liquid. Yes, 
two centimeters. That's the second one, and this is the third one. So even if you do go over the line, you can always pull out the excess one. Till you get it right, of course. And now we have the second one. Excellent! This is called a pipette. It has some numbers on it, which means we can measure the quantity we want to use. It is used to take very small quantities. I have my lemon juice over there, so we'll go ahead and squeeze out just a few drops of lemon juice into the first test tube. Few drops will do and we'll let it settle. Great job guys! I do have some vinegar here and it's just a regular vinegar you get from the kitchen. With my pipette, I'll go ahead and suck in some quantities and I will just squeeze out a few drops of my kitchen regular vinegar into the second test tube and we'll leave that to settle. Now for the last test tube. Well done my friends. Now for the last cabbage water. We're now gonna go ahead and use our baking soda. It's just a regular baking soda you find on the kit in the kitchen. And with my lap spoon, I'll go ahead and take just a little quantity. Any quantity would do. You don't really have to measure your baking soda for this experiment. So I'll put some in and it brings forth a reaction and we're gonna shake and let it settle just for a little bit of time like a few minutes excellent so after it has dissolved i'll keep that aside and now we can all see the results first I'll go ahead and bring out my lemon juice mixture, the very first one we did. And I can see a color change here, orange. So the cabbage water and the lemon juice turned orange. The second one is the cabbage water with my vinegar turned red. The last one is the cabbage water and my baking soda. It is blue. There we go. We have all three of them. So what happened? How come the color changed even though we used the same cabbage water? There must have been a reaction somewhere to change the colors with all the different substances we put in the test tube. So as you can see guys, we did check for the pH levels. The first test we did was with the lemon juice. It shows that it is acidic. The second test we did was with the vinegar. It shows that it is neutral. It is neither acidic nor base. The third one is the baking soda and it does show it is base. So we were able to indicate acid, neutra, and base. And this you can see in the different taste of your food. 
That one just is very sour. Vinegar, it's just neutral. And baking soda is base.